Our next speaker is going to be Karen Mudrick, who really needs no introduction to almost everyone here. I suspect uh, uh, we, we pluck Karen out of heaven to come down and be our patient navigator. And uh, what she does is, she'll tell you, but she basically, her job description is to make, make it easy for you to go through this uh, terrible experience and try and bring to bear all of the facilities and all the expertise that we have at the at University of Pennsylvania uh, in sort of a, a human and efficient way for you. So, Karen? Hi, everyone. I just wanted to thank you for coming. And I recognize many people in the audience. And I really appreciate you being here with us for the day. So I'm going to explain to you my objective, you know, what my role is as the patient navigator. Oh, there we go. Okay. So you might see me as your GPS system. Um, my objective is to really make sure that you know where you're going, what the next process is. Um, when you first call, I'm the initial person that you talk to, I'm the greeter, you're the introduction to Penn Medicine and to the program. Uh, during the initial uh, contact that I have you, with you, it's really important that I know that I convey that the culture that exists among the team is very patient-oriented, and we exist because of you. Um, we really, our experience, we try to make the utmost experience for the patient while facing this horrible disease, mesothelioma. In many scenarios, when I receive the call from a patient, um, it usually begins the same way. They've never heard of the disease. They have a hard time pronouncing it. Um, they don't know anyone who's had it. So it's very important for me to make sure that they understand that we are all here for you. Um, so the other thing that I am is I'm the point person. So whenever you're not sure to, who to call, who to, who, who is the person that you should be talking to? Um, I also get calls uh, regarding someone's late for an appointment. Um, so I'm your point person. And I really direct and guide you through all of the maze and options and tests and, and all of the appointments. Um, something else that, that I do is a lot, we have a lot of people who come in um, from across the country, internationally and nationally. And they're not familiar with Philadelphia, so I assist with hotels and travel and just make sure that you feel comfortable, you know, f for your first experience when you, when you come to Philadelphia. I'm also an educator. I educate you about what the program is about, that we're a multidisciplinary program. Uh, when, again, when I get the call, a lot of people are not sure what multidisciplinary means, so I explain that to them. You know, it's a collaborative approach, and that, again, the doctors are here to decide on what is the best possible treatment for you. I review what patient conferences, um, patient clinic, and really what to expect on your first visit when you come here. It's very overwhelming um, knowing that you're going to be seeing four physicians. Um, and I let the patients know that the physicians are very dedicated and passionate and that they will be spending an hour with you and they are there to answer all your questions. They also go over um, the treatment plan with you that they've decided on in um, the patient conference. So at that time, um, after, after the appointment, I get a calls from people and they say, what's the next step? What do I do now? So I'm there to let the patients know that, okay, you need to call this physician or I really help them, direct them to let them know what the next step is. I'm also the advocate and the liaison. So you might have questions um, 
and you need to ask one of the physicians. As you know, they're all very busy, so a lot of times you will call me and I will relay the message to the team and then someone will get back to you. It's very important that I establish a bond and rapport with the patient. As I've said, you know, you're very overwhelmed and you're dealing with this horrific disease and it's important that you know that you can count on me and also that the team is here for you. And that any question that you need to ask me, I get a lot of calls and people say, I'm bothering you and, and I'm here for you. So that's, you should be calling me. So I just wanted to read um, some testimonials that we've received from, from some patients. Um, I think it will give you an overview of, of how you feel. Um, and I'm very proud of this. And so, um, hi Karen, I just wanted to thank you again for all your kindness and help you have given us over these past few weeks. It is so nice to know that there is a go-to person that is so quick to respond and on top of things. You are making this experience as good as it can be. All of the doctors yesterday were amazing. We left feeling hopeful and that means more than you can imagine. I hope that you enjoy the holiday. Thanks again. Karen, I just wanted to thank you for all your time and patience yesterday in making our day go smoothly. My parents had a lot of anxiety leading up to this day and having someone greet us and help us to navigate was really wonderful. Both of my parents have always been in good health, so this whole experience has been a learning experience that we all have been fumbling through. And you can't imagine how helpful it is to have assistance in this journey. I'd also like to say that all four doctors and Melissa were absolutely wonderful. Everyone really took their time with us and seemed very sincere. You can tell that the doctors seem to have a real passion for their work. Although it was a long day and we were all tired, we had a very positive feeling about the University of Pennsylvania and the options they might be able to provide us for our mother. I'm assuming we will be in touch with you. Thank you. Um, so I just wanted to say that, you know, being the patient navigator for the program is very rewarding and passionate experience on many levels for me. I'm fortunate to be part of the, this exceptional team who are extremely devoted, dedicated, and caring. And I thought that this um, slide is very important. You, you probably saw it on your invitation, but you know, we are here, like I've said, we are here for you. And that is why we are here. Thank you.